Energy is a proud partner of George Athletics. For every three-pointer scored by the Bulldogs, Scana Energy will make a $25 donation to the University of Georgia General Scholarship Fund tonight. We're hitting Scana up for a big tab. 12 three-pointers, 12 of 29 tonight for the Dogs, a yeah. season best. Let them get out that checkbook. Uh, Scott, you just mentioned something to me. It's hard. They're 0 for 8 at the line tonight, are the Bucks? Yeah. And you're telling me they're, they're the, what, the fourth best shooting free throw? Coming into the game, they were fourth best shooting percentage from the free throw line in the country. Wow. 81% as a team. They'd hit 11, 111 of 137. And tonight they're 0 for 8. Have hit a free throw, yes. And even the guy that was perfect on the season missed one a few moments ago. Now we've got Cario at the foul line. And his free throw is up and in. And Oquindo with a strong second half. Nine points. Make it ten points in the second half already. He's got 14 of the game. And the next free throw is up and in good. And it's a three-point game again. ETSU with the lead by three. 64-61. The Dogs now 9 of 12 from the foul line. Less than 11 and a half minutes to play. Brewer. To Patterson, then they go to King on the left side, guarded by Abdur Rahim out on the left wing. Puts it on the floor, drive, penetrate, kick out to the other Brewer. Tie back to King for a three. Off the rim, no good with a shot clock winding down. Offensive rebound off the tap, however, and Ty Brewer with the putback basket for ETSU to make it 66 to 61. It's one of, those kind, one of those times when you just you need somebody who can just pull down a rebound and not be tapping it around. You give them too many opportunities to get that second chance. Jabri from just above the foul line couldn't get the roll. The tap up by McMillan, no good. The tap again, knocked it over the rim. Rebound East TSU. Ty tried to tap it in twice right under the basket. Had too much tap on it. We're down five, 66-61. ETSU with the ball. Cook fakes right, fakes left. Now puts it on the floor. One-handed pass to the baseline. Seymour, 10-footer. Off the rim, no good. Weak side of rebound. Offensive board for ETSU. Brewer, turnaround jumper, won't go. Rebound picked up in the paint. Up in the air, a little windmill action, undercut. But they call a charging foul on Ty Brewer. Which it was. Uh, he just He was going hard toward the rim, and we had position. We had a couple of guys with good position underneath. Who took the charge? Was it Ryder or Edder? I couldn't tell. It was one of those guys. They both, they both hit the floor. That's one of Jackson's specialties. He's taken 11 charges, 19 the last 22 games back the last year to lead the Dogs in that category. Dogs back and forth in the backcourt between Wright and Edder. Now Christian walks it into the front side. And here we go, Bauman. Fakes the three. Brewer gets out on him in the left corner. They didn't let him take that shot. Braylon Bridges with a spin move off the high block. And he's called for an offensive foul. Yeah, he did too. Bridges with his second. His defender was right behind him out of the spin. He He, he made contact and right into him and knocked the man down. Less than ten minutes to go. It's still a five-point lead for... ETSU, the official telling uh, the mop guy to come out and mop up the floor as soon as play goes down to the other end. There's a wet spot right of the basket. ETSU will inbound. Jordan King, the six-foot transfer from Siena, will walk it over the logo. Into the front court left. King, right-hand dribble. We get two guys on him quickly and then rotate back with Bridges. Sloan's got it now, backing up towards the half-court line. Cook guarding. They screen for Sloan. Now we double him. Crossover, goes left, into the paint, jump stop, sends it down on the block. Seymour hooks it up. No good, whistle well, and a foul. And, and a good call. Uh, but I got to tell you something. When, when he beat both of our defenders, we doubled him out front, and he beat both the defenders. Uh, I mean, you, you <laughs> that leaves three guys to guard five. Bridges with the foul call. That's his third. And that'll put Seymour, the 6'8 freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, on the line. Transferred at which from Wichita State. There's their first free throw of the night. One for nine now for the fourth best free throw shooting team percentage-wise in the country. Second one's in the air. That one rattles out. Now they're one for ten. 67-61. They run a lob to Jackson Etter. He didn't have any height when he went to get that pass and then stumbled out of bounds, tried to well, save the basketball, they, and they, they fouled him. 
They pushed him as he went under the basket support and slid out of bounds. And the foul called on uh, Vonnie Patterson. That's his fourth. Ninth team foul on ETSU, so one and one coming up. Well, they're saying two shots. Well, I, yeah. I now, now he changed it. Yeah, Pat said it, one and one. It's their ni- it was their ninth foul. And he wasn't shooting. Etter free throw, all net, good. Jackson with his first point of the night. 67-62, ETSU with the lead. Etter will try to make it a four-point game, and he does. Strips it home. Made both foul shots, and it's 67-63. Are we going to catch these guys with 9-18 I, I to go? Tell you, it, it feels like we've been we've been behind since Fluff was a kitten. We had two leads in the first half, but not for long. King or Sloan, rather, with the drive and the miss and the rebound to Etter. Cook's got the ball, weaving through traffic into the paint on the right end of the floor. Feed it back to Jackson. He fakes the three, drives to the elbow, kicks it back. Bauman, he buries another one. He just, his confidence from right now from behind the three is kind of the confidence you show when you're looking for a parking spot during the Christmas holidays. You know, <laughs> I'm going to find one. Seven three-pointers for Noah Bauman. That ties his career high. He's closing in on a Georgia record, too, which is nine. Now a whistle on the other end because ETSU calls for a timeout. It'll be a full timeout with 8.33 to go. First called timeout of the second half. It's a one-point game, by the way, 67 66. Noah Bauman in charge with 23 points for the Dogs, 7 of 8 on three pointers. Back after this on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Scott Howard, Chuck Dottle, Adam Gillespie. Adam, you want to read this, this thing? No? You said you wanted to be on the air. All right, Adam, don't want to read it. Hey, no one gets you closer to SEC Sports than Sirius XM. You can tune into all your favorite shows on SEC Radio. Follow your team off-season through postseason. Your team is covered anywhere you go, and now you can try them out for free. Get a free trial to take your team with you on your phone, online, and at home. Start listening at SiriusXM.com slash, that's the important part, slash SECSXM. One-point lead for ETSU, 67-66. They've got the ball. They call the time. They've got 11 seconds on the shot clock. Yasser throws it in, bounces it in. He gets the shot off and misses it right under the bucket. Rebound tapped a couple of times. Chased down first by ETSU in the backcourt. Now they get another crack at it. Brewer works against Jabri, not giving ground. Oh, he's spinning and pivoting and finally contact. Knocked the ball out of his hand. They call a foul on Jabri. And, 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 and Tom Crean has a good question. You know, that's the way they teach you to play defense with your hands straight up. The left arm kind of came down a little bit as well. we got a quick look at a replay overhead. And that's probably what he called because once the arm, you don't, you lose that, uh, what is it, the principle of verticality. And that's what they, that's, that's once what the they arm comes it, down, yeah. then, uh, then it becomes a foul if you make contact. And the free throw, again, no good by Ladarius Brewer. 0 for 3 tonight. And now East Tennessee State 1 for 11 from the foul line. My goodness. Missed the second one. Wow. Front of the rim. Boy, they're just shell-shocked at the line tonight. 1 for 12. They, will they came in it. shooting 81% as a team. They've made one tonight. It's still a one-point game. Dogs can take the lead with a basket here. Cook will try to give them the lead, and he does. Drives in, a floating one-hander left of the lane. Good for Aaron Cook. And now Tom Crean asking the crowd to get up on their feet, and they are. They're responding to him. 68-67, dogs by a point. We double. Sloan, he's diving on the floor. We dive, feed it up ahead to Cook. One on two, Aaron to the rack, and the lay-in good. And Count the, the basket with the foul. Send him to the line. Yeah. 
Somebody gave up their body back on the back yeah, end of the floor. Yeah, I couldn't tell. There were, so, well, there were a couple of guys that were going <laughs> it for it. It may have been Oquendo. I couldn't tell. But they got the ball to Cook, and Aaron was able to take it in on the drive, get it to the rack, lay it in, and got fouled in Georgia. Leading now for the first time since it was 30-29. to 70-67 to 67 is our score. We've got a time here at Stegman. It's starting to rock a little bit with 7.40 to go. Back in a moment on the Bulldogs Sports Network. remaining, Georgia by three. Georgia fans, when you need to see a game, you need to head to StubHub. Whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view, StubHub's the best place to grab 100% verified tickets, and StubHub's the official fan-to-fan ticket marketplace of the Georgia Bulldogs. StubHub, be there. Aaron Cook converts the three-point play with the free throw. He knocks it down to give Georgia a massive four-point lead. 71-67. 71-67. By the way, that was Braylon Bridges laying out on that steal to Cook a few moments ago. They got Cook the ball and drove in for the basket to get the three-point opportunity. Cook for three. Quiets the crowd for ETSU. Right in front of their bench, Jordan King, I said. I said Cook, but it was King. Excuse me, and that's his fifth three of the night. He's got 19 points, and it's 71-70 to now. Dogs with the ball, seven minutes and change remaining. Georgia with a one-point lead. Edder to Jabri, straightaway three, front of the rim, rebound into the corner. Nobody there. Nobody can get to it. Well, Jack Byerly bounced right to his son, right on the courtside yep. seats. If you're the head swim coach, you get good seats at the Boy, basketball you do, game. Don't you? <laughs> and if you delivered the uh, the commencement speed at grad- uh, speech at graduation a few days ago which Jack did. 71-70, dogs by a point. Less than 640 remaining. ETSU with a ball, a blind whistle being blown on the baseline. I couldn't see it. There was a foul. One called on Jabri. Second foul on Abdul Rahim. Ninth team foul. On Georgia, so it's one and one. Dogs are in the double bonus when they shoot. And, and they will be ETSU on our next foul. We'll shoot the one and one here. They are dreadfully bad tonight from the foul line. One for 12. Ty Brewer, free throw. That one's good. That's their second make of the night. And his first. And the younger of the Brewer brothers with nine points. Second free throw, that one's good. Make two in a row for the first time in the game. It's 72-71, ETSU back in the lead. 6.35 remaining. Dogs with the ball. Cook circles around on the left wing. Jabri runs that side of the floor. Cook still with the dribble. Now gives it to Jabri. Back to Cook. Resets between the circles. 11 to shoot. Cook gets a screen from Bridges. He rolls. Cook going to take it to the rack, stretching and finger-rolling it up and in from the left side. Yeah, Bridges set a nice screen for him, too. Cook in double figures with 10. Open that little lane up for him. Dogs back in the lead by one. 73-72, six minutes to go. ETSU with the ball. Sloan dumps it over to the left wing to King. Both of those guys have been hot tonight for the visiting team. Sloan with the ball. Dribbles across the top of the key. They reverse it. Go to the right side. Seven to shoot. Doubled on the post. And Bridges with a steal. And he just took it away from Ladarius Brewer. He was trying to pivot and get position to shoot. And Braylon just stole the ball away from him. Dogs on the offensive end. Up one. 5.30 to go in the game. Cook dribbles on the logo. Gives it to Bauman, who's been red hot. Smoking red hot with seven threes tonight. Cook, long two, right side. Good! Good. Aaron Cook found a sweet spot on the floor. Nobody was guarding him, and he drops an 18-footer in their face. He's got a dozen points. 75-72, dogs by three. Sloan has it for ETSU, right wing. They switch the defense. King's got it now. Cook on him, but not tightly. Misses a deep three off the back rim. Rebound to Edder. They foul him at half court. Reaching across the body is Boy. David Sloan. Is Jackson all right? Yeah, he's okay. Edder crashes into the scores table. Woo. Yeah, they hit him, hit him pretty good. Kind of 
If you've watched much hockey, you know what a body check is. That was into the boards. Yeah, that was a check into the boards there. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Better flexing his right hand a little bit. He may have crunched it on his crash into the boards on the foul by Sloan. Jackson Edder will go to the line for the dogs. Two f- free throws coming up for Jackson. Double bonus for the dogs. Two. And Edder on the night, two for two from the line. And 69% for the season. His third free throw of the evening, all net. Jabri and Bridges come out. Oquindo and Wright check in for Tom Crean's Bulldogs with 4.58 remaining in the game. Georgia by four now, 76 to 72. And this is our largest lead. Edder makes it a five point lead now. 77 72. Edder with a pair of free throws. Less than five minutes remaining. ETSU. On the other side for a change now. Sloan with the ball. Offensive foul, ETSU. The screen was moving. That's on Jaden Seymour. Yeah, it doesn't Oliver wants an explanation on that. But <laughs> oh, that's that's exactly fifth. what it was. That's his fifth. Excuse me. He's out. Desmond Oliver going to argue his point. Not happy with that call. Jaden Seymour, the 6'8 freshman, the transfer from Wichita State, fouls out of the ball game. He scored three points tonight. Five-point lead for the Dogs, 77-72. Bauman inbounds in backcourt to Cook. Dogs work left to right here. Bauman with a handoff on the wing to Aquindo. Pass comes near side now to Cook. Fakes left, drives right. Yasser picks him up on the block. Step back two. Good! Nice! Aaron Cook feeling it right now. Oh, drops he, another mid-range two on him. And, and, you know, both were just nothing but net. 14 for Cook. 11 here in the second half for Aaron. Crossover Sloan down the lane. Shot blocked by Cook right to another ETSU player, though, and Yasser, who caught the deflection, put it up and in. He's got 11. He had nine at the half. His first points of the second half. It's a five-point Georgia lead, 79-74. Their head coach is almost all the way out to half court. Three ball, oh Cook, goodness. give it to him. <laughs> Aaron Cook, 17 now in the game, 14 in the half, his second three of the contest. 82 to 74, Dogs with their largest lead of the game at eight. King with the ball. He's going to drive against Oquindo, reverse it up and in. That's nice beautiful. play, King beautiful. falling down, got it to go. King with 21, back and forth. Here we go, Cook again. Gives it to Oquindo. They don't guard. He shoots from the foul line. It rattles out. No good. Rebound touched by Etter. And going to bounce into the Georgia bench out of bounds on Georgia. It'll be ETSU ball. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a breather. Timeout with 327 to go. Georgia 82. ETSU 76. Back after this, Bulldog Sports Network. Time for a Regions recap. Having the Georgia Bulldogs Visa check card from Regions lets you say, Go Dogs! Every time you pay, visit regions.com slash go dogs to order yours today. The Dogs were down nine at intermission, 48 to 39. We've trailed most of the night, but a surge here in the second half has propelled the Dogs to what is now a six point lead, 82 to 76. We've led by as much as eight. Aaron Cook. 17 points, 14 and a half. Noah Bauman, 23 points, and a career tying seven three pointers in the ball game. Chuck, our offense has exploded here in this ball game. Well, Cook, Cook down the stretch. Uh, Bauman has carried us much of this game, but down the stretch here, when when we were trying to grab the lead and then extend it, it's been Aaron Cook. We had 85 in the win on Monday over Western Carolina. There's a tap away, a deflection by Noah Bauman. Wrestles for the basketball. Sloan can't control it in the backcourt and loses the dribble out of bounds. It'll be Georgia basketball. That was caused by Bauman's great defense. It sure was. His hustle, too. Bauman flicks it in to Christian Wright in the backcourt. Dogs with 3-13 on the clock and a six-point lead. Wright's picked up his dribble high out on the left side. Feeds Oquindo. Back to Wright it goes. 
Cook circling around. He's looking for the ball. Wright going to take it inside. Short as he's losing his balance. Rebound touched out by ETSU as it rolls to the end of the Georgia bench. Buccaneers touched it last. Dogs ball, 20 on the clock, 3-0-1 remaining in the game. Jackson Etter calling the play. Now East Tennessee State going to call a time. Yeah, they, they take a 30. Boy, I tell you what, Coach Oliver's lighting King up over there. He was not happy. Takes 30 seconds to yell at his players with 3-0-1 to go. 82-76 to is our score. The Dogs have surged ahead. We went on a 9-0 run to take that first lead of the second half after being down 67-61, just ripped off nine straight. I can't get over us taking 32 threes tonight. That's a season high. 14 makes is a season high. 82 points is our second highest number that we scored. As we were saying, 85 against Western Carolina on Monday is our... High point for the season. High point total. And we are uh, going to try to surpass that here in the next few moments. Three minutes and one second remaining. Now we're back on the floor ready to go. Jackson Etter looking, just heaves it in deep into the backcourt. Noah Bauman will take about three steps on the other side of the timeline, make the catch, and here we go. Right on the logo, dribbles to the right side. The freshman from Alpharetta with a high dribble up chest high. Eight seconds to shoot. Oquindo's got the ball now. Cario, kick out to Etter. Three seconds to shoot. One second to shoot. Right, not going to get the shot off in the right corner. Shot clock violation. One too many passes. Yep. Good well, defense by East Tennessee State, though. It, they it didn't was. let us get a good look at the basket. It, 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 that's exactly right. Took that last pass just to get a, a clean look at the basket. ETSU rolls it in. They're down six with 2.36 to go. Sloan on the logo. Dribbles left, right, left, and feeds King on the wing next to their bench. King lobs it to Brewer. Hands off to Sloan. He drops it but picks it up on the bounce. Now they give it to the other Brewer. Brewer to brother to brother, and Ladarius going to shoot a three and knock it down to the right side. And that's the thing. Well, when you shoot the three as well as they do, well, you you know, that six-point lead. Gets cut in half with just the flick of a wrist. 82 to 79. That's exactly what happened. It's a three-point lead now for the Dogs with 2.03 to go. Now less than that. Cook steps back above the arc on the left side of the floor. Kills his dribble. Bauman comes to help. Gives it right back to Cook. Aaron with a basketball. Deep three. Left side. No good. Too deep. Fight for the rebound. Right goes for it. Ball's loose on the floor. Bodies tied up. Edder. Star ball. And Yasser, no, King, and it's a jump ball is the call. Two bodies tying it up from opposite teams, and the Dogs have the arrow. Time is moving off the clock. They're going to have to adjust that. The clock is moving. And now they're going to have to go to look at the video monitor and reset it. Looked like about five or six seconds ran off the clock during the stoppage of play. They put it back to 147. And they apparently feel comfortable that that's what it should have been. I think that was accurate. As we said, it was running and they stopped it and caught it at 142. I happened to be looking at it when it started moving, so that's accurate. Georgia will throw it in. Braylon Bridges inbound pass deflected and stolen by Sloan, and they get an easy uncontested bucket on the other end. You've got that whole floor to throw the ball. There's no excuse for throwing it short and having it tipped into the backcourt by them and then picked up with their momentum. You can throw it the length of the floor yeah, if you want to. I said, you yeah. the whole floor. I mean, <laughs> and a lot of guys feel like they got to stop at half court. Bridges down inside. They block his shot. And they call a jump ball there on Bridges trying to work on the left block. They got a palm on the ball and just jam the ball down. They call a jump ball and arrow this time to the Buccaneers. They get the possession. They can come down and take the lead with a made bucket, yeah. 122 to go. I, I'm wondering if Braylon is healthy. He came out of the game immediately. 82-81, Georgia by a point. ETSU with the ball. Here's Sloan, look out for him. He got a screen, rolls, Brewer takes the pass above the arc right side. The other Brewer trying to post up down low. 10 to shoot, 62 seconds to play. It's a one-point lead for the Dogs. Sloan going to take it inside. Running hook shot, won't go. Foul on the rebound. Oh, they, they got Aaron Cook. Got the foul after they had missed the shot. Cook called for the foul, his second. 
Two shots coming for ETSU at the free throw line. They haven't been good all night. Just three for 14 from the line, but they hit their last two now. Mohab Yasser's at the line. He's eight for nine this season, his first free throws of the evening. Free throw number one, good. And Braylon coming back in the game, that's good. Oh, we're tied at 82. He came out. He's been in and out a good bit of the night. Yasser's second free throw. In the air and no good. Rebound Bridges. Rolls it over to Christian Wright. There. We're tied at 82. Very opportune substitution by Coach Green. ETSU just 4 of 16 from the free throw line tonight. Here's Aaron Cook on the dribble. Left hand. Backs it up. Now one foot in the circle. One foot out of the circle. Goes to the right elbow to Bauman. Bauman runs through traffic. Hoists it up from the right edge of the lane. And knocks block. down a 10-footer going towards the basket. And they foul him. Count the wow. basket, send him to the line. Bauman now with 25 points in the ball game. I got to tell you, and none of those 25, none any bigger than those two. 25 points, seven three pointers tonight for Noah Bauman. And now finish it off, Noah. That's his first two point basket of the evening. But wouldn't you know it, he's got a three point play opportunity <laughs> at the end of it. Doesn't matter how you get the three up there. Bauman free throw. Oh, went in, came out. No good. 84, 82, 30 seconds to go. Georgia leads by two. Crowd comes to its feet here at Stegman Coliseum. 24 seconds, 19 on the shot clock, about five seconds difference. They almost turned it over. ETSU's King holding it high, far side of the floor, works against Christian Wright. Drive, he traveled, his foot skidded, they don't call it. Passes it up to Sloan. Six to shoot. Three ball. Right side. Good on that. 8.4. 8.4 and timeout. Georgia calls time. ETSU's latest three has put them up by a point. Should have wow. been a travel on Jordan King, but they didn't call it. His foot kind of rippled on the floor. Trying to come to a full stop. It took an extra little hop. He was passing the ball in that same movement. He got it over to Sloan, who's been hot all night. And Sloan hits his 4-3 of the game. He's got 24, and that shot has put ETSU up by 1, 85-84. Georgia has the ball. We'll have to bring it up the length of the floor. Plenty of time, 8.4 seconds to get it up in a hurry Boy, and try to set up a good-looking shot yeah, for the and, win. You know, Coach Crane's pretty good about getting the right guys on the floor and getting a good play. To, somebody ought to get a look. Now, now, you still got to knock down the shot, you know. I, I, I'm trying to think what I would. Aaron Cook has been a good option. Uh, obviously, Bauman has been a good option. You don't have to take a three, obviously. You've, you've got all the options are open. You know, you can win it with a two. You can draw a foul, get two free throws. You can win it that way. You can shoot a three if you're comfortable with that. We're 42% on our three-point shots tonight, 14 of 33. We've got guys on this floor that can drive the basketball. Oquendo can drive. Cook can drive. Wright can drive. Timeout, breaking up. Oh, uh, you can send this Christmas crowd home happy here tonight if we can figure out a way to just get a bucket here, 8.4. Here's, Here's our five. We've got Bauman, Oquendo, Jabri, Cook, and right, who will inbound down to our left. ETSU is not going to guard the inbounds pass. So well, right feeds it into Cook. Clock begins at 8, at 7. Aaron Cook crosses into front court. Cook on the wing to Bauman for three. And the lead, no good off the rim. Rebound, ETSU, and a foul, they say, with, with point .1 one. second to go. Boy, Noah Bauman, they got the, the, the shot they wanted. He had a great look from the corner. And that young man who's done so much, to have Georgia in the position that they were in just couldn't couldn't close the deal. He got a look from that left corner, but it was just off the rim, and that's only his second miss from three tonight. A record tying seven three-pointers for Noah Bauman, but he couldn't make that one. The dogs are down one. There's a tenth of a second on the clock. They whistled a foul as Jordan King got the rebound and then had his legs knocked out from under him. 
And the officials are going to look to see if they put some more time on the clock. But Are they going to add time or no? Yeah. Yeah, six-tenths of a second. So they add a half a second. And King at the line. 84% career free throw shooter. And his first trip to the line tonight with 21 points. Two shots here, double bonus. Free throw number one is good. That's 22 for Jordan King, the six-foot transfer from Siena. I think the dogs are going to call a time after the second well, free throw if he makes it. Yeah, if, if he makes it. Now, he may intentionally miss it. 86-84, two-point lead. King, second free throw. He, he missed it. We catch it. We still call the time because Tom Crane told the official to be ready. We were going to call the time. Jabri Abdul-Rahim got the rebound, and now just three-tenths of a second to go. Uh, you know, Tom they're, Crane they're gonna look to check for, it, yeah. He's going to beg for a tenth of a second here. <laughs> there were six tenths when he was shooting. He missed it. And from the time it takes to get the rebound, touch the ball, activate the clock, and blow the whistle, that's got to be at least a tenth. So you might have a half second left. And all that is is a court-long pass and a quick turnaround, you know, touch it up at the rim, something like that. I mean, you're not going to get much. Pat Adams is looking at the uh, video monitor to our left. And uh, they haven't changed the clock yet. There's three tenths showing. George is huddling right now, taking the opportunity. So So is ETSU. And, yes, now the officials will huddle. Buccaneers are leading 86-84. Well, I got to tell you, we we had the look we wanted a while ago. Noah had a beautiful... Wide open three out of the corner. And, and like I said, you can't fault him because the work that he'd done tonight had gotten us into the position that we were in with an opportunity to win it. Well, they keep the clock at three-tenths. George is still huddling up. So that, he can run the baseline if he chooses to do so, whoever's going to throw the ball inbounds. But it's got to be a long baseball pass. Into the front court. That's got to have a lot of juice on it. And maybe even a little bit of steam. We shall see. And then it's just a quick catch and fire it up and hope for the best. Cordell Charles at 6'8 will guard the inbounds pass, and it will be Jackson Etter to throw it. And now he cannot run the baseline. Correct myself. He cannot run the baseline because we rebounded a miss. Long pass into the front court, knocked away. It ends up with Christian Wright. Try to falling back and just throwing it up. It hit the net underneath the rim. And the horn had sounded beforehand, and that's the end of the ball wow. game as ETSU has won it 86 to 84. Well, Scott, this was just one of those games where we struggled to, to get a lead the whole game. Then when we finally did, you know, it had just taken so much out of us to get there, and we just didn't have enough to hold on to it down the stretch. Yeah, we got up six. We were up six with 327 to go. And then uh, got outscored 10 to 2 in that last 327. And East Tennessee State comes away a winner in the fifth meeting in the series between the two teams. They now lead the series 3 to 2 and improve to 8 and 5 with the victory. Desmond Oliver, former Georgia assistant, comes back to his old employer and gets the win in his first year as a head coach there in Johnson City. The Dogs drop to 5 and 7 with the loss. And we'll be off now until next Wednesday when Georgia will host the running Bulldogs of Gardner-Webb at 7 o'clock here on Wednesday, December 29th. Well, a tough one to swallow for the Dogs. They did a great job to come back and take that lead, but a 12-2 run by East Tennessee State over the last 340 wins it for the Buccaneers. Final tonight, 86 84. The region's locker room report is coming up, but uh, first we want to pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 